Hi, I'm Alan Bowden from Sheep Ireland, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing recording lamb weights and young mature weights, and why they're important for accurate genetic evaluations. The first way to be recorded on a lamb is its birth weight. This will be the starting point we use to calculate the lamb's average daily growth rate throughout its growing life. We would advise you to use a suitable weighing scale, such as a luggage scales, and that will allow you to weigh down to 0.1 of a kilogram. The next weight that is to be recorded is the 40 day weight. So we have a time frame for recording the 40 day weight. Obviously it's not feasible to record every lamb exactly when they're 40 days old. So the 40 day weight can be recorded from 20 to 65 days of age. The 40 day weight is very important because it's recording the period where the lamb is most dependent on the ewe was milky. So for example, if the lamb has a very high growth rate in the first 40 days of life, we can assume that the mother has a high milk yield. The next um, weight of importance is the 100 day weight. So again, we have a time frame of 66 to 120 days to record the 100 day weight. This will bring the lamb uh, up when, as far as weaning, so it's recording his growth the whole time he was uh, with his mother. The next weight that's important is the 150 day weight. So this would often coincide with muscle and fat scanning or drafting for slaughter in commercial flocks. Again, we have a time frame of 121 to 180 days to record 150 day weight. Earlier this year, all Lamb Plus breeders received the Lamb Plus recording timeline wall chart. This wall chart can be a reference point for you to help you remember when is the correct time to record these weights. And as with all data, we would advise that it's uploaded to the Sheep Ireland database as soon as possible after the weights are recorded. Another weight that is very important is the yo mature weight. And this will help us look at the efficiency of the yo to produce lamb. We would advise your mature weight will be recorded pre-mating when the ewe is in her peak body condition before joining the ram and again at weaning time along with her lambs. So what we look at here is the efficiency of the ewe to produce lamb compared to her own body weight. So for example, if a 70 kilo ewe weans two 35 kilo lambs, we have 70 kilos of ewe mature weight um, and 70 kilos of lamb produced, meaning 100% efficiency. If in that same flock, a 90 kilo yo weans two 30 kilo lambs, we have 90 kilos of body weight, weaning 60 kilos of lamb, which is a 66% efficiency. We can obviously see the difference in this extreme case, but it, across your flock, uh, having both yo live weights and lamb weaning weights, we can show which yo's in your flock are the most efficient at producing lamb. <laughs> 